It starts in the afternoon, moves through the long summer twilight into a night filled with whirling lights. It reaches halfway at dawn. Finally, after a long morning, the afternoon comes round once more, and the full day's cycle is complete. It is the great race whose name joins time with place, the 24 hours of Le Mans. To race here is to be drawn into a maelstrom of speed, spiraling around the track as if geared invisibly to the finish line clock. It is a world of calculation and of nerve, of careful engineering and moments when everything goes wrong. Through the decades, each Le Mans has been won in a different way. Canetti drove all but 20 minutes. Hill and John Amier waited patiently for others to break. Voigt and Gurney took their big Ford and crushed the opposition, while Porsches dominated the 80s through sheer weight of numbers. Some years the race is won on the drawing board, others by team tactics, sometimes by a stroke of last minute luck. And once it came to this, sheer desperation. What shape will the race take this year? One team's journey to victory is about to begin. A journey from day to night and back. From being one of many to being the one, the winner of the 24 hours of Le Mans.